everyone. Do you remember a couple months ago when I succumbed to peer pressure on sports and fishing? Now you might be thinking, oh Michael, please say you didn't succumb to peer pressure on something else. Yeah, about that. Wii Sports Resort, the sequel to Wii Sports. When this game was announced, originally everyone had high hopes for it, but then they realized, oh god, this is Nintendo's E3 2008, what is going on on stage? Yeah, Nintendo's E3 conference that year was a bit... Mm, how do I put this? Horrendous. But hey, Wii Sports Resort got announced there. Anyway, the game came out in 2009 and got all around pretty positive reviews, eventually selling around 33 million units, making it the Wii's third best-selling game, only being beaten by Mario Kart Wii in the original Wii Sports. But I've rambled on enough, let's actually get into this game. So getting into the game, we get this pretty cool title screen showing off the island theme of the game, as well as whatever sport you last played, which is pretty cool. The title screen also comes with an honestly less good theme song playing in the background, so that's a bummer. But anyway, the big feature of this game is that it uses Wii Motion Plus, which gives the games the benefit of feeling really good to play. But it also adds the annoyance of having to recalibrate it constantly for it to work properly. Now, that isn't too annoying, but it can get in the way sometimes. But enough about that, what about the games I hear you ask? Well, we have a total of 12 games, 2 returning and 10 new games. And if my math is correct, 12 is a lot more than the 5 from the first game. Some of these games also include other game modes, but today we'll just be talking about the default mode for each game. And before you ask, yes, we will be giving each game a numerical score of 1 to 4 on the Minecraft Zombie scale. But enough talking, let's start playing the games. So here we are at our first game being Swordplay. And to be honest, I really like this game. Now, is it super easy? Yes. All you need to do is block your opponent's strikes and then proceed to break a couple of their internal organs before knocking them off the ring. All you need to do is win two out of three rounds to claim dominance over your opponent. So you know what? Four to four, I like it. Next on our list is wakeboarding, and it's pretty fun. All you do is trick off the waves that are produced by your boat, and it's pretty cool. It reminds me of Mario Kart Wii, actually. Just without the godforsaken blue shells. My only negative is that you go off screen a lot, which I don't entirely like. But anyway, 3.5 out of 4. And here we are at Frisbee, the only game in this package to have a trademark. But getting past that, this game is annoying. So the goal is to throw a Frisbee at a target and get a dog to catch it. But let me tell you, I hate this stupid plastic disc. My main issue is that the physics are super random. It'll sometimes randomly curve off to the side, and sometimes when you actually want the curve, it just goes nah. The only redeeming quality of this game is when you get a bullseye, because that means you finally get to say you beat this 0.5 out of 4 nightmare. So our next sport is archery, and I have to say, it seems like it would be fun. If the controls would work, oh my god. So, Archery is one of the few games that require the nunchuck, and I have to say, it absolutely sucks using it. The motion control of the nunchuck kept getting messed up and required me to pull it farther and farther back, and eventually, I kept having to pull it behind my head for it to register it was pulled back far enough. Also, the game is super sensitive, meaning it picks up the slightest of movements from the Wiimote. But, beyond all those complaints, I think archery had potential. It just controls horribly, so 2 out of 4. Next up is basketball, and I have to say, God, this game doesn't make me feel good about my basketball skills. Like, yeah, I played basketball for a couple of years back in elementary school, and I absolutely blew at it. But I thought that would mean I'd be at least half decent in video games, but apparently not. Anyway, other than me sucking at this, it was pretty fun to play, so 3 out of 4. And here we are at our next sport being table tennis. Which is basically tennis from the original Wii Sports, just now with a table involved. But let me tell you, this is an extreme version of table tennis. 
In this version, you can take evasive maneuvers by rolling on the ground to save the ball, as well as possibly breaking the other Mii's nose by hitting them in the face with a ball. So you know what? 4-4. Four four. Well, here we are, one of our returning sports being golf. And, personally, I think that this one's a massive step up from the original game's golf. My first reason why I think it's better is because the controls are so much smoother, and also the putter actually works this time. And my second reason is the island theme of this game. It really makes me feel like some old rich CEO living in denial while the problems of the real world catch up to him. And just because that scenario makes me laugh, golf gets a 3 out of 4. So here we are at bowling, and I have to say, I don't know how to feel about bowling in this game. On one hand, it feels great and is super fun, but then on the other hand, it feels super unpredictable what the ball is going to do. Now, in the original game, I had the same complaint about the ball, so what sets this iteration of bowling apart from that one? To be honest, I have no idea. I just don't like this one as much. But please, I'm still going to break out the altar. I'm not a Satanist. 3.5 out of 4. So power cruising is up next, and it's basically going through these hoops that magically come out of the water and bam, you win. I don't have much else to say about it, so 3 out of 4. Next up is canoeing, and... It could be better. All you do is row through an obstacle course until you get to the finish line or run out of time. And also, ignore the ducks, they're just a distraction. My main complaint with this game is... Say it with me. The controls. The controls actually work most of the time. But, the controller really likes to get confused where it is most of the time, so you have to recalibrate it a bunch. Oh, but it also had me rolling on the wrong side of my body that I had the Wii mode on, so that was kind of weird. But anyway, 2.5 out of 4. Next is cycling, and... Well, have you ever ridden a bike? Now just add some motion controls that make the steering one of the hardest things that the human race can accomplish. And that's cycling. So, 1 out of 4. So our final game is Air Sports, and it's a bit of a weird one. On the menu it looks like one game, but it's actually three games in reality. So, we'll be having a quick Air Sports lightning round. So, skydiving is exactly how it sounds. You link up with people in the air, and the more you link up with, the more points you get. So, 3 out of 4. In Island Flyover, you get an airplane, you can fly around the island, and yes, you can go inside of an active volcano, so 4 out of 4. And our final game is Dogfight, which is an exclusively two-player game, so say hello to Pilot Herbert Hoover. And I don't like this. 1 out of 4. And that was all the games, and I have to say, overall, most of them were pretty fun. But now you might be wondering, well, what is there for me to do after completing all the games? Is there a new Wii Fitness mode for me to play, or or what about a training mode? Well, there's a video about installing the Wii Motion Plus on the title screen for you to watch. And that was Wii Sports Resort. A pretty fun time that used motion controls amazingly. And also, it's a good way to practice sports. Speaking of which, I'm going to go try and play a new sport. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than that incident a couple months ago and up to bat next is chip chicken we might have a spectacular play here ladies and gentlemen from our midwest player yeah let's just do this so here we are at a sports place and we're going to be playing a game that us we sports resort fans like to call basketball now i wasn't actually able to find a basketball so we'll be using this argentina soccer ball instead but don't worry, if you've ever read a dictionary, you know that that's right next to the definition for good enough. 